Good afternoon. Um, it just became afternoon, so I'm, I'm right on time. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I'm Lisa Mann. I'm the director in the Career Center here at UNC Asheville. And I'm so excited to welcome everybody here for the internship event. The, this is one of our favorite events. The last time we did this was before the pandemic. So it's really exciting to see everybody back together in this room again. Um, I want to take a second to thank the Career Center staff for putting this on, for David Earnhardt, who's our Associate Director for Employer Relations, who's done so much, for Andrea Kiley here, who has marketed this event, for Kate Marshall, whom you all met at check-in, and our awesome students, um, Isabel, Molly, Nico, who's going to be doing the cards for you all, Sonori, and when there's a list, you always forget the last one. Abby. So thank you all so much for everything you've done um, to pull this event together. For the students in the room, an internship is one of the most impactful things that you can do while you're in college. There are national studies that show that an internship shortens your distance from graduation to full-time employment and increases your starting salary. So it's wonderful. It's a great way to gain experience it's a great way to experiment, to see if you really like something. And I really want to welcome the employers in the room. You are all valued partners with the Career Center, and we're thrilled to have you here. And I'm going to stop talking now and turn it over to Sonori, who's going to share about her internship experience. Hi everyone, my name is Signori. I'm a senior graduating in May. I'm double majoring in management and accounting and will be going into management consulting after graduation. And I'm here to talk a little bit about um, and give you a little bit about my internship advice for you as you go on take internships. Um, so this past summer, I was a commercial finance intern at Sealed Air, which is a global packaging company headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I gained a lot of experiential knowledge. Um, using my skills learned in the classroom, I was really able to put it to work um, out in the real world. Of course, I didn't know everything about everything, and my employer didn't expect me to know everything about everything. So that was really nice. Um, I went in with a positive attitude and a ready-to-learn mindset, and I think that is part of why I really excelled in my internship. Networking is key. Um, I cannot emphasize that enough. It's not only about people that you know, but it's about how many people know you and your skill set and what you can do and what you bring to the table. So don't be afraid to talk about that. Talk about your passions and what you're interested in. Um, over the past summer, I networked with over 25 professionals in the finance industry, and I was really able to gain like a lot of career advice, um, learn about their career trajectory and what advice they had for me just in a personal and professional environment. Um, my second advice would be to be a sponge and take every learning opportunity. I attended extra webinars, I you know, attended extra meetings, and like I said, I didn't know everything, so it was really hard to follow along sometimes, but it really shows the initiative that you took to learn, and I think that's really what's important at the end of the day. And my last point is that an internship is what you make of it. So like I said, don't be afraid to bring your passions and let your employer know what you're interested in. Even if the internship is not 100% what you expected or um, what you thought would align the best, ask your employer to, you know, can I attend an extra meeting? Can I do this? Can I take on an extra project? Can I sit in on meetings? And the most likely the answer will be yes, unless it's like confidential issue. Um, it just really shows that you're willing to take the extra step and learn. Um, now I'd like to invite our MC for the day. Let's give a round of applause to Deaver Trawick, Senior Director of Academic Success. <laughs> Thank you, Sonori. Um, all right, so thank you very much. I'm gonna be helping us get through, you know, walk through the next uh, 20 minutes or so, and it is going to be a fast 20 minutes. I love this event. Uh, nothing moves very fast in higher education except this event, and it's really exciting. So students, what's getting ready to happen is you're getting ready to be uh, 
uh, learn uh, about from 20 employers about internships and opportunities at their, uh, at their organizations. Um, each one of them is going to have one minute uh, to tell you about an opportunity with them. Uh, these are potentially transformative opportunities. These internships give you a chance to learn about yourself, to learn about an employer or an organization, or even about the workplace culture that might suit you best. And you're able to do this in a low stakes way um, now rather than down the road when, I don't know, the stakes might be a little higher. So um, please take advantage of these opportunities. Couple of uh, technical notes. Um, uh, employers, when you come up, please, for the sake of everybody, this is the first time we've done this in two years, we're still trying to figure it out, okay? Please keep your mask on, use the podium, Ex exit, uh, I mean, sorry, enter the stage here, and if you're comfortable, exit on the right. Um, if not, we'll find a way to sort of, uh, you know, work people in and out here. Um, please keep an eye, employers, on Nico in the front row. Nico, you there. Nico, <laughs> Nico's holding uh, a couple of signs that say 30 seconds and 15 seconds because it's gonna move fast, okay? So keep an eye on Nico. Um, thank you so much for coming and spending time with us today. Uh, students, please take notes during the pitches. Um, afterwards, okay, if there's something that interests you, you'll have a chance to meet with every one of these or, or any of these employers and organizations afterwards. And we hope we, you'll take us up on that. Um, even if they didn't, even if they didn't have the internship specifically wasn't exactly the one you were thinking about, like Sonori said, you know, take a moment, go talk to them. There might be another opportunity with that organization uh, that you could, uh, that you could take part in, okay? So I think we're getting ready. I think we've got uh, our first five presenters up here. Uh, and so here we go. It's gonna move quickly. Um, we're gonna go in groups of five. And uh, our first five are, drum roll, please. Thank you. 103.3 Asheville FM, 103.7 WPVM, Archetype Brewing, Asheville Art Museum, and Black Mountain Academy. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm with Asheville FM. We are a free forum community radio station. Free form means that we can play whatever we want. There's the DJs have no corporate overlords telling them to play three pop songs every second. And uh, community radio means that it's produced by people in the community. So we are mostly volunteer run. And uh, because we are a community radio station and a free form station, we take that opportunity to produce uh, talk shows, music shows, news programs that highlight and center the voices of people who are typically marginalized, including women, people of color, queer folks. Um, we are small, we're scrappy, we are mostly volunteer run. Uh, we're looking for, volunteer, for interns to work in our uh, music department, news department, music tech, and marketing. In all of these roles, you'll be helping build stronger local media that supports local bands, artists, businesses, and making sure your community is well-informed and entertained. We're looking for people who are idealistic, independent. Uh, it helps if you're a huge music nerd or a huge local politics nerd. Um, we want you to be curious, a good troubleshooter, and good at communicating with a bunch of weirdos. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Davine Dial, and I'm with WPVM. In downtown Asheville, we're on Wall Street. We are also uh, another one of the community radio stations. Those stations were developed to bring radio back into the community versus the uh, mainstream media stations that are ubiquitous in the world. Um, we are open to people who are interested in journalist ethics, story development, research to investigate stories in the community, content production, music shows. Uh, we live stream many of the shows that happen in the studio and we broadcast to the world along with the 20 mile range that we have across town and 15 miles west of Asheville. 
So consider us, and we'll show you how to do radio in the new world. Hi, uh, we are Archetype Brewing. We were, uh, we were founded in 2016, so we're pretty young. Uh, we've now grown to two locations, one in West Asheville and one downtown. downtown. And we are a regionally recognized brand with national and international beer awards. And uh, we are a funky team. We're social, social justice focused, and we like to use our platform for good. And uh, we have some edgy marketing, if you haven't seen it. We have a spring and summer 2022 internship that you can apply for on Handshake. It's a marketing-based internship, but you will have access to explore the entire brewing you know, company and, and uh, system and stretch your legs there. And we're looking for someone who's 21 years and older and creative, detail-oriented, and enthusiastic. We call ourselves the A-Team, which most of you are probably too young to understand, but, um, but we have a lot of fun, and so we would love for you to join the A-Team. Thanks. Hi, I'm Alexis Meldrum. I'm a curatorial assistant at the Asheville Art Museum. Um, we are located downtown on Pack Square, and our mission is to engage, enlighten, and inspire individuals and enrich community through dynamic experiences in art of the United States from the 20th and 21st centuries. Um, every year we have internships offered during the spring, summer, and fall in most of our departments, which includes curatorial, learning and engagement, external affairs, and visitor services. Um, our curatorial um, interns, as well as learning and engagement interns, are often studio art majors, art history majors, and um, art education majors, but we do offer internships throughout the museum to a variety of different ma majors beyond um, those opportunities, um, including business, communications, um, those sorts of things. Um, and our applications for the spring are due November 1st. And I wanna emphasize that all UNCA students have free admission to the museum year round. So I invite everyone to come check out the museum when you can. Um, we have something new on view uh, every month. Thank you, guys. This is so fancy. Thank you for having us. My name is Michelle McCoy. I'm the operations director at Black Mountain Academy. Black Mountain Academy is a therapeutic boarding school. Our students are high school males. Most of them have a diagnosis of level one autism. We are offering therapeutic direct care internships and uh, like someone just mentioned, we too, our folks have to be 21 and older, our staff. Um, and we're looking for enthusiastic, hardworking, positive attitude uh, young folk for our internship. It's a paid internship um, to work with our students. It's an excellent opportunity to learn. If you are a psychology major or sociology, I have 15 seconds. so. I also want to say that I went to school for theater, and this is the first time I've been on stage in a long time. Thank you for having me. Great. Thank you so much uh, to those friends. There's clearly a movie script in there somewhere between the A-team and our corporate overlords. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to write that when I get back. All right, we're uh, ready right now for uh, our second group. We've got Blue Ridge Service Corps, Bounty and Soul, Central United Methodist Church, Dixon Hughes Goodman LLP, and Doral Home Furnishings. Thanks a lot, guys. Hi, y'all. I'm Kelsey Davis, and I'm the director of Blue Ridge Service Corps. We are an intentional community of prayer and action in Western North Carolina. Um, our community are young adults ages 20 to 26 who wish to engage in social justice and in solidarity work uh, with our local nonprofit organizations and partnerships. So I have the awesome job of getting to listen to your gifts and passions and pairing you with a local nonprofit uh, internship, which some of our partners are actually in the room right now. Um, we provide housing, we provide insurance, and a small living stipend 
for you to come and be part of this intentional community for nine months. It's August, or excuse me, it's yeah, August to May. Um, so it runs the school year, so it's a post-grad option. So if you have any questions, please come see me, and thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Carla. I'm the Director of Community Engagement for Bounty and Soul. Um, if you're not familiar, Bounty and Soul is a nonprofit based in Black Mountain that is all about connecting, sharing, and celebrating nourishing produce, uh, health and wellness education, and community building. So we have uh, weekly free fresh produce markets at no cost, no eligibility requirements, um, and so many different programs for our community to participate in. Um, some of the internships um, looking for placement for are in the health and wellness field. So if you're passionate about cooking and nutrition, if you're passionate about children, um, we also have um, a growing native Spanish speaking community in the Black Mountain Swannanoa area. So we're looking for bilingual uh, volunteers and interns to support that work, but lots of uh, infrastructure behind the scenes. So marketing, communications, et cetera. Um, so if this is a cause that you're passionate about, um, please come see me in a couple minutes. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Hello, my name is Anne and this is Patrick. I am the children's pastor. He's an associate pastor at Central United Methodist Church, which is downtown Asheville. We are the largest Methodist church in the area. Um, important things to know about us, we're an open and affirming congregation. We're LGBTQIA plus friendly. We also work hard to be a safe space for everyone without exception. And we're really excited for this opportunity to partner with UNCA. Yeah, we would just love to be a container for your creativity and your ideas. We're specifically looking for uh, not only just help in uh, marketing and outreach, we're working with uh, Slot House Creative to do some rebranding, but we're also looking for folks that are uh, interested and engaged with uh, what it means to work in a space, to be kind of a uh, triple threat player, someone that's doing uh, managerial stuff and all the things in between. So uh, nothing prepares you for dealing with people like dealing with church people. So please. <laughs> Uh, if you want in, come talk to us. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bill Smith. I'm a managing director at Dixon Hughes Goodman. Dixon Hughes Goodman is a top 20 CPA firm in the country. Um, we are offering full-time opportunities in spring, January through April, and summer, June through July in both tax and audit positions. That's a paid position. Um, we're looking for well-balanced, motivated young folks who just want to learn. I will tell you that I am a graduate of this fine institution of 1993. I'm a member of the Advisory Board Committee for Management and, and Accounting. Um, you get a great education here, and we know how good you are. So love to have you come. If you'd like to apply, uh, dhg.com is an internship. Um, there's a page there you can apply there as well and learn more about us. So thank you for having us and look forward to seeing you soon. Hey there, my name is John. I am from a company that you've never heard of, but you probably own our stuff. Um, Durrell is a $3 billion company on the Canadian Stock Exchange, yet we have an office of 20 people in downtown, off, in downtown Asheville, uh, right across from the beer garden, by the way. Um, for those of you that, uh, that are wondering what we do, what we do in the Asheville office is we have about 24 highly technical people focused on creating a center of innovation. And so the kind of things that we do, um, we basically focus on cutting edge technologies that would uh, apply to selling online. So we sell the kind of furniture that you would buy in Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, but our focus in Asheville is selling these things online. Um, the uh, kind of technologies we work on, the kind of things you might learn from us is how a big CPG company works, the consumer products uh, company works, um, a, a lot about e-commerce and selling online, and a lot about data if you're interested in, in data. We can tailor the internship to your skill set and to what you're wanting to do if it fits in any one of those areas. So we're looking for people who want a career in, say, engineering, web engineering, uh, database uh, uh, management digital marketing, or even business or sales. We think we've got a place for you here at Durrell Home. Thank you. Right. 
Okay, thank you all very much. Um, I, I heard one employer uh, offering uh, housing insurance and a stipend. I've never heard that before in this setting. Um, Blue Ridge Service Corps. And another offering to be a container for your creativity. Also, uh, something pretty, uh, pretty attractive. So please check, uh, check those folks out later on. All right, we're, uh, we're ready to go again. Up next is Hickory Brands, Inc., Homeward Bound of Western North Carolina, Liberty Corner Enterprises, Linamar, and Northwestern Mutual. Take it away. Hi, I'm Mary Heindel from Hickory Brands, Inc., and we are a 98-year-old innovative manufacturer in fashion, accessories, athletic apparel, military, technical, and other outdoor sporting goods in the industries. Our products range from athletic gear, gear cleaner, disinfectants, and shoelaces. We originally started with shoelaces in 1923, so we've been around for a while. We recently moved to a new location in downtown Hickory, so we overlook Union Square, which is absolutely great to go to work every single day. And our internships are ranging in business development, social media, and digital marketing, product design, engineering internships, but we are also open to hear what students might have to offer for our company. We're looking for individuals who are creative and willing to challenge the status quo on manufacturing. We want them to test boundaries and we will also want to create our next generation of leaders within our company, but also within our community as well. One of the things we pride on is that we are a USA made company and we want to start bringing that back to the US. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Leanne. I am from Homeward Bound of Western North Carolina, pronouns she, her. I am here to talk about um, our mission, which is to end homelessness in Buncombe County, and we do that through what's called the Housing First Model. We house our clients first, and then we wrap case management around them. We have opportunities for internships with us all across the board. We have an entire business side that runs our organization, human resources, finance, accounting, marketing, communications, anything on that side, if you're really interested in the business aspect of a nonprofit. Then we have our frontline services. We connect you directly with our clients that are using our programming. You can be on the front lines with our staff, helping people at our AHOPE Day Center and developing internships to give you hands-on experience in social services. We are also open to opportunities for data analysis. The numbers help us drive our mission, and so we'd love to partner with you. Come and talk to me and my partner, Cabo, and we're excited to make our connections. Thank you. Hi, my name is Georgiana. I'm with Liberty Corner Enterprises. We are a nonprofit human services organization that specializes in provision of care for, su for support for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities and mental health diagnosis. Internship opportunities with our organizations include those directly related to our mission, such as person-centered planning and learning, encouraging and supporting social justice equality and equality navigation, as well as care management. Additional opportunities include technical support in our growing IT department, administrative functions, marketing and management, and media production. All internships aim to help support individuals to integrate and build resiliencies within our communities. Additionally, some opportunities are considered for paid internship experiences that offer continuously throughout the year. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Thompson. I'm the campus recruiter with Lenamar, North Carolina. Um, we are an automotive manufacturing plant located just in Arden, just 20 minutes down the road from here. Um, we are manufacturing parts such as engine blocks for vehicles, such as like um, the Volkswagen Jetta. Um, we also make um, engine blocks for Volvo as well. Um, and then we're also focused on making precision gears. Um, so we are looking for folks who are interested in getting into the manufacturing field or are um, interested in being in a fast-paced environment. Um, we're going to have a variety of different internships opportunities this summer of 2022. Um, whether you're interested in engineering, automation, HR, um, IT, or accounting. So whatever department you're interested in, we can find a place for you. Um, again, if you're looking for something that's fast-paced, you're looking to learn, we're the space for you. Thank you, guys. Nice job. That's a bright light, man. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Emerson Buckland. I'm a financial advisor with Northwestern Mutual. This is Katie Price. She handles recruiting in our office. So Northwestern Mutual is a Fortune 100 company. We're one of the largest financial firms in the, in the world, honestly. We've been serving clients since 1860, so that's a, that's a really long time. We primarily focus on financial planning, risk management, wealth management, retirement planning. If it's finance related, we probably do it. Yeah, and we are looking for interns for next summer. So we're looking for a total of five. Our internship program is really awesome because we treat you as if you're gonna be a financial advisor. So we kind of do a mini training, lots of hands-on experience, and you actually get to the point of running meetings with potential clients as well, uh, and also work with our technology to run some financial plans. So really awesome experience. We're just south of uh, Biltmore Forest, and so we'd love to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, our next group is coming up. I did just want to echo something uh, momentarily that uh, a, a presenter said just a moment ago. Um, these employers are here, students, because they know Asheville, they know UNC Asheville, and in a lot of cases, they know UNC Asheville students. And uh, they are here, they are here um, and interested in you specifically. And so thank you all for coming out. Um, and I hope we make some great connections uh, in the second part of this. Um, without further ado, we now have our final group today, the American Chestnut Foundation, UNC Asheville Conferences and Camps, UNC Asheville NEMAC, Vertel Hospitality Inc., WIN, and UNC Asheville Career Center. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Hey everybody, I'm gonna to try to stick to my script here so I don't go over, because I tend to do that. Um, I'm Jules, I'm the uh, Director of Communications for the American Chestnut Foundation. This is Tamia, and she is the Communications Coordinator and a recent graduate of UNCA. Um, TACF is a nonprofit scientific research organization whose mission is to rescue the American chestnut tree and restore it to its native range in the eastern U.S. forest. Um, uh, there was once nearly 4 billion American chestnuts in the tree's native range, and including the living right here in Western North Carolina. Uh, the tree survived all adversaries for 40 million years and disappeared in less than 50 due to a, the introduction of a fungal blight. Um, so here's where you guys come in. Uh, we are in the process of developing a documentary film about the history and restoration of this iconic tree. We're seeking an intern to assist with marketing the film, including the development and, of uh, creative and promotional materials, managing a film-specific blog and Facebook page, and that's just to name a few. An ideal candidate would have skills in media design, oh, media design, communication, social media, and experience using WordPress. Um, if you're interested, we hope to talk to you afterwards, and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Blair Jenkins. I'm the director of conferences and camps at UNC Asheville, and my pitch is actually for everybody in this room. It's for the students as well as the employers. So students, if you are looking for an internship here in Asheville, we have housing for you. Housing is incredibly difficult to come by and expensive, uh, and we have that. So if you're doing an internship in Asheville between May 15th and all the way until July 31st, we can house you on campus for only $30 a night. And that includes all the amenities that comes with on campus, uh, free laundry, uh, internet, um, TV, access to TV, all the, all the good stuff. You can have a meal plan. So employers, this is for any, it's not just UNC Asheville students. So if you have anybody doing an internship with, with your company, they could be from Western Carolina, Clemson, Chapel Hill, it doesn't matter. We can house them on campus for only $30 a night. Thank you all. Hey y'all, my name is Matthew. I'm the student program coordinator at NEMAC. We're an applied research center here on campus and we serve as a bridge between academic research and real world problem solving in the areas of climate science and community resilience. Uh, we actually don't have any open internships at the moment, but I did bring my colleague Chris from local climate company Fernleaf to share an opportunity with you. 
Thank you, Matthew. My name is Chris Bueller, <clears throat> excuse me, with Fernleaf here locally. We partner with NEMAC on a number of projects. We serve communities by helping them make data-informed decisions about climate resilience. We currently have one open internship uh, for sales and, or so, sorry, sales and marketing, marketing and social media uh, for the fall and spring semesters. Uh, primarily, we're looking for somebody with good communication skills, a good attitude, and the ability to work with climate nerds and software engineers. Thank you. Hello, my name is Raina Linton. I'm with Vertel Hospitality. We are a hospitality management group representing five hotels in the Asheville area, and we are focused on ethical and sustainable business practices. Our internship programs are fully customizable and feature a project that is tailored to your specific interests educational and experience goals. Um, it's hotels, so we have a little bit of everything. We have spots open in financial management, uh, accounting, human resources, social media, sales and marketing, business administration, diversity and inclusion projects, and the development of a community outreach committee within our company. Hello everyone, my name is Nikki Duff. I'm with the Western Carolina Medical Society. WCMS is a local nonprofit based here in Asheville. Um, we improve access to affordable health care, fight health inequity, as well as promote wellness across Western North Carolina. We are seeking a spring intern um, to help us with content development, storytelling, and digital marketing. So if you have a passion for creating content through social media or want to learn more about marketing from the ground up and a one-on-one -on -one mentorship and paid, come see me. I'll be right here. Thank you guys so much. Also, as a UNCA alumni, I would be remiss to say go Bulldogs. No problem. <laughs> um, so I just want to, A, give a couple of updates. Um, but also just thank all of our employers who are here and all of the students who came. Um, it's really great seeing all of your faces, even if they are half covered with masks. Um, uh, one thing that I wanted to let you all know about is IST 325. So this is for students. It is elective credit that you can earn while doing an internship. We offer this in the spring and the summer. Um, if you have questions, if you're interested, if you want to know more about it, um, and if you need help, securing an internship. That is very much what I am here for. Um, so I never said my name. Yeah, I'm Kate Marshall. <laughs> um, I always forget my name. Um, and I'm in the Career Center, so you can find me pretty easily. Um, one other thing I just wanted to give everyone a heads up about is Autism in the Workplace is a panel that we are offering next Friday from 12 to 1. It's on Zoom. That is open to students and our employers. So all you have to do is either register on Handshake or just email career at unca.edu, and we'll get you that Zoom link. Um, thank you all again for being here. Thank you, Kate, and the entire Career Center staff for uh, putting us all in the room together today. How about give a big round of applause to our presenters who, uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, made yourselves all very vulnerable by, uh, by taking on our one minute challenge. So um, now, as we move into the second half of the event, students, please keep your seats for just a moment. Employers, now if you'd like to move out to the edges of the room where, uh, where your spots are, um, while they're doing that, uh, students, just a couple of um, quick notes. You're now going to have an opportunity to meet and mingle with these employers, learn more about their organizations. Um, two quick notes. If there's someone you're interested in and you don't have a chance to talk to them today, um, please stop by the clipboards in the back of the room. There is a clipboard with a sign-up sheet for every employer. So if for some reason you're not able to talk to them today, please put your name on that, uh, on that clipboard so that they'll know who you are uh, once they leave here. Secondly, these are some fantastic internships. They also are probably competitive, but that's a good thing. What I'd like you to do is plan to come by the Career Center or check in with them online 
to make sure that your resume and cover letter, you can get a second set of eyes on that before you go out and start competing for these internships, okay? These are really exciting opportunities. Thank you to everyone who participated today. And please, students, go find an internship. Thanks a lot. Thank you.